Good afternoon my friends and welcome to St John's Community Church here in Burslem and Stoke-on-Trent or, or known more locally as Boslem <laughs> by the locals but um, as most of my subscribers are not from Stoke-on-Trent we'll go with Burslem. Burslem is one of the six towns, six major towns that makes up the city of Stoke-on-Trent um, it's also the home of Royal Dalton, one of the many uh, famous pottery companies we, we had. Uh, we still have a couple, but not like back then. But um, anyway, I've come to this uh, church and cemetery for a very specific reason. As you'll notice, all the, this is a Christian cemetery and all the graves are facing east to west as in a tradition for Christian burials apart from one and that one happens to be from a lady called uh, Molly Lee Margaret Lee but known more locally as Molly Lee and also known as a witch she was born in 1585 and she died in 1648 or some say 1646, but the most most sources say 1648. So uh, her her grave or tomb should stand out like a sore thumb because, like I say, all the graves are facing east to west, apart from Molly's, which is facing north to south. And I'll tell you a bit more about that when we when we find Molly's grave and. Uh, I'm going to get the ghost apps on the go and uh, we'll see what uh, what becomes of it. So, um, yeah, I'll bring you back when we find a tomb. See you in a bit. Well, that really didn't take long at all. Um, as we look down the cemetery, all the graves and tombs east to west, apart from one. Which does stand out like a sort of thumb. So this is the tomb of Molly Lee, Margaret Lee, but as I say, known locally as Molly Lee. Um, and as you can see, it's facing north to west, the only one in the cemetery that is. So, uh, so yeah, let's have a quick walk around the grave and then I'll tell you a little bit about the his history and the folklore that goes with the history. So, as I said, Molly was born in 1685 and um, well, it didn't start well at all for her. Uh, she was born with some def deformities which made her um i'm getting off text here because i don't like to use the words really ugly but that's what all the texts from the research i've done she was an extremely ugly woman um it was also said that literally from birth um she had the the mind and the brain of a human within hours of being born she was eating a uh, stale bread as they did back in them days um, and like I say she had the mind of a, a an adult from birth so instantly there was some peculiarities um, 
Then as she grew up, uh, sadly her parents passed away quite while she was quite young and she inherited the farm uh, farm because this Biddle flag, uh, sorry, Burslem is like I say one of the major towns now in Stoke-on-Trent but back then it was a small village um, and so Molly stuck out like a sore thumb for, for reasons of uh, you know being a very ugly woman and um, and she couldn't make friends um, so it's said that she um, tamed again this is a most people say it was a black bird but there is talk of it being a jackdaw but she tamed this bird let's go with black bird as that seems to be what most people say where the bird had literally she if you summoned it it would come and um um sit on her shoulder and whatnot um, um and yeah and the black and the black bird became basically her best friend uh and this again made the villagers even more suspicious of her she um she made her money by um selling milk from she inherited the farm and uh, a big herd of cattle so she made her money selling uh, milk from the cattle but she was accused of watering it down so that didn't go down well with the villagers then one night the the local vicar at this church um well he took a dislike to molly instantly uh, for the simple reason of she didn't come church back in them days everybody came to church but Mar Margaret Lee, Molly Lee, never did. I'm not sure of the reasons. I, put, I mean, I do believe a cottage was about a mile east from the actual church, so she was probably too busy with the farm, but maybe she was a witch, so she, the last place a witch wants to be is a church. Uh, but yeah, he really took a dislike to her, and apparently one night he was in one of the local pubs drinking, and Molly's blackbird suddenly appeared and no, it appeared um, and it was there for about five minutes and then flew off and literally the minute the bird had gone the pub ran out of beer completely and then not long after people started getting sick um, and they put it down to a spell that Molly had done um, so I'm going to break these videos up because they're going to be a bit too long so we uh, yeah, so we'll carry, I'll bring you back where, uh, from the next part of the story where the, the really weird stuff started to happen. So, the really weird stuff that happened, happened after she died. Um, because after she died, the villagers got together as a bit of a celebration. Um, had a bit of a jart knees up in the pub and uh, for some reason they decided to go to a cottage whether to raid it or what I don't know but they went to the cottage and they all swore possibly swore blind as I said they went from the pub but they all swore that she was sitting in a rocking chair with the blackbird on her shoulder netting alive and well this is after she died um, so the vicar, uh, not happy at all, basically that very same night, came back to the church, re-exhumed Molly's grave, which was originally east to west, like most graves. Um, he also caught the blackbird, uh, rearranged the grave tomb so it faced north to south. Uh, that was supposedly to rid her spirit of the area uh, or just to move it on into the next uh, wherever we go from death um, but he also put the bird in the tomb which was alive and not just that he put a wooden stake right through her heart and then buried her and the bird alive together and then they put this stone on top which has remained on top ever since. Um, now the folklore bit, <laughs> something I won't personally be doing, but it said everybody knows this in Snip Contrast. 
if you come uh, come to this uh, tombstone on um, Halloween and you run round three times saying Molly Lee, ra Molly Lee, run round the apple tree. If you run round the grave saying that three times, Molly Lee's apparition will appear and chase you off. So yeah. That's essentially the story of uh, Molly Lee. How much there was no doubt that Molly Lee very much existed. She owned the farm and the cattle, and she did make the enemy of the the church behind me. That's all fact, um, and there's no doubt about it that her tomb is the only one facing north to west. So that's all very very true. As for her apparition. I've heard people saying it's true, um, but, you know, who knows? I'm not going to be coming here on Halloween <laughs> and trying it. Uh, no, I fear this, but uh, I'm more scared of the living and no doubt there'll be a load of kids doing it, so yeah. Um, <laughs> but what I am going to do, seeing as I'm here, is uh, just have a quick uh, play with the ghost apps and see if we can get, any, get anything from her. So yeah, I'll bring you back when I've got the ghost apps fired up. Well, you literally just missed it. I literally turned ghost tube on and instantly it said run now. <laughs> I'm not going to run now because there doesn't seem to be any neat reason to be. But Molly Lee, does your spirit reside still? Lee. I'll see if the ghost that works. <laughs> Not yet. Used to at one time, eh? Apologies for that. Uh, a lovely lady has just walked past and told me uh, a little more about uh, the story. I want to come. Oh, the ghost that just said I want to come. Yeah, so the tradition is um, on Halloween, what I've just been told from a local is you run around this tombstone three times saying, Molly Lee chased me around the apple tree three times and that's what apparently brings up her spirits and the lady says you can guarantee there's people here every Halloween and this has been going on She's she looked like she was in her 60s she said it's been going on ever since she, she can remember so yeah uh, when I turned the ghost app on as I said it literally said run from here But I'm not going to do that. Not yet, anyway. Certainly getting some magnetic dis disturbances. Molly Lee, were you a witch? Worried. Were you a witch or were you just misunderstood? There's nothing to worry about. I'm here to just tell your story. And uh, grandfather. It's my grandfather, grandfather, Ras and Biddle Cemetery. Did you know him? No, you couldn't have known him. <laughs> Molly Lee, do you haunt this place at Halloween? Let's go back to where we got that interference. Yeah. Certainly getting some beating there. Let's try a uh, ghost tube box. Molly Lee, do you have anything to say? This is definitely crikey, that sounded demonic. 
definitely my favourite app because there is not a single word in any language programmed into this app. So everything that comes up is literally coming from this, the airwaves. So country in. Country in. Country in, yes. That's where the vicar who she fell out with spent a lot of his time. Molly Lee, were you a witch or were you just misunderstood? Some really demonic sounds. We're doing. We're doing or we're doomed. Okay, there's a lot of action from the centre part of the grave. chance anything you'd like to tell me because I'm scared hopefully you caught that nothing to be scared of Molly Let's get rid of that advert nothing to be scared of Molly just a chance for you to tell your story and I will put it out there and we can put this to rest that you weren't a witch. You were just very misunderstood. Uh, still happening in this one part of, this, uh, of the tomb. Couldn't be more closer to the church. So, Molly, I have to go. So, do you have anything you'd like to tell me? Anything at all? Do you haunt this place on Halloween? Is your spirit at rest? Or is it all a load of hocus pocus? <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> Farther. Your father's. I'll we'll have to look up if your father's buried here. No doubt lots of people's fathers are. See, that's the thing. Could be picking up loads of other. other spirits, because let's face it, we're surrounded by dead people. I've got to say, I mean, I've only been using these apps a month, but <laughs> definitely getting a lot more action around this tomb than anywhere else. Okie doke, well, it's been fun. One last chance. Molly Lee, were you a witch or were you just misunderstood? It's weird how right here the magnetometer goes off every time.
Maybe that's where the blackbird is. Well, nothing conclusive. <laughs> so yeah, that's the story of Molly Lee, without doubt the most infamous tomb, grave in Stoke-on-Trent. Everybody feared of Molly Lee. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll uh, possibly bring you back in Burslem Town and show you a few other things as we're here. But that's the Molly Lee bit done anyway. So I stopped here for a couple of reasons. Number one is Burslem's getting some housing developments. Let's hope the affordable housing developments much needed. Uh, and also, we have three of our famous bottle kilns. I'd like to think that they're going to be building the new houses around these kilns because this city used to have hundreds uh, and now we have, I'm not exactly sure, but I don't think we have many more than 20, 25. So we need to keep the kilns we do have because it's the biggest part of Stoke-on-Trent's heritage so we really do need to keep that heritage and uh, yeah these bottle kilns are a, a real big part of it so yeah it'd be nice to think they're building some affordable homes up there well I know they're, they're building homes I just hope they're affordable and, uh, and they keep the, the bottle kilns keep the Keep our heritage alive, and that's uh, the other side of the church that we were just doing the Molly Lee story on, by the way. So, right next door, take you into the town next. So much of Stoke on Trent, it just looks like that crumbling wreckage, fly tipping. Just a whole mess. Obviously, this is Baslem, but you'll see this in, every, in all all six of the major towns and the smaller towns too. Sadly, uh, hopefully, with the new government, things change. One can but hope. Hey, eh? not going to hold my breath, but you never know. Thanks for watching the vid, guys. Um, I'm going to do a separate vlog on all the six towns of Stoke-on-Trent. Something to do during the winter, colder, wetter months. So wetter, it's, it's always wet these days. But yeah, uh, I'm going to leave the video here for now. Uh, please subscribe, uh, comment. Uh, not all my uh, videos are going to be spooky stuff. Uh, I've just got to go through one of them little phases of... Uh, I don't know, <laughs> Super, all, all supernatural stuff, but no, back to more backpacking, no more backpacking and paddleboarding, uh, probably from the next video after this one. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, like I say, please like, I'd really appreciate it, subscribe, appreciate it even more. So yeah, thanks ever so much and I'll see you in the next adventure or storytelling or whatever it may be. Over and out guys, bye bye.